Andrew Wilson wrote to us about two years ago, told us that he was innocent in prison and he needed a lot of help. And he detailed a lot of things that he had done for himself. We were able to take some of the work that he had done and take it further, uh, get more evidence in his case, talk to witnesses to eventually get his conviction vacated and get him released from prison after 32 years of just terrible suffering. Loyola's Project for the Innocent is an incredible project where we help people who've been wrongfully convicted sitting in prison for decades, and we help them find freedom. Loyola Law School's Project for the Innocent instills in our law students an understanding that they have the power and ability to go out and make not just incremental improvements, big improvements in our criminal justice system. This project started with students in my office saying, can we do something that matters? As an evening student, I appreciated that the class component of the Loyola Project for the Innocent covered subject areas that I hadn't covered in class. The Loyola Project for the Innocent really inspired me to not only pursue a career in criminal law and specifically criminal defense, but also to have a career where I'm making a difference. Loyola's Project for the Innocent has had amazing success. It started with Obi Anthony and having him get out of prison after 17 years behind bars. My first interaction with Loyola Project for the Innocent with the students, they came in to visit me while I was in the incarcerated. That gave me the confidence and the reassurance that I will be coming home. After him was our client cash register, and he was exonerated after 34 years behind bars. We've had four more people exonerated after spending decades in prison. That's the kind of success that we are so lucky to have. What's so special for me about Andrew's case is that I got to experience it from start to finish through the very hard work of the students and attorneys at the Loyola Project for the Innocent. We saw his release in March 2017. One hour after he got out of jail, he was on our campus, surrounded by his family and our students, wearing a Loyola t-shirt, shaking my hand. That'll stay with me forever. Andrew's case is just one example of the cases we work on, and it illustrates how effective we are when we come together with these hardworking students and the resources that we get from our donors. Our aim in the clinic is to give the students as much ownership of their cases as they can take. They act as if they are the lawyer for the client. What drives our cases really are the students. When they learn what's going on in some of these wrongful conviction cases, you can't hold them back. They will not rest until they have seen justice done. Andrew's case exemplifies the power of the Loyola Project for the Innocent. And we, through some scrappy attorneys and a lot of scrappy students, worked really, really hard for months and months and were able to win his release. For these students, it's more than a grade. It's more than a book assignment. It's realizing that you're becoming a lawyer for a purpose. And that purpose is to help another human being. I want everyone out there to know how much we love partnering and how much we appreciate the help. Whether it be the corporations or the private individuals or the volunteers, these are people who believe in justice. So join with us. I'm grateful for Law and Law School uh, Project for the Innocent because they believed in me. They took a chance on me. They made her a promise they was gonna bring me home, and they did. The work we do at Loyola matters.